Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. So do you really want to impress everyone at that 4th of July bash you're throwing? <laughs> or the bash that you were supposed to bring something to? <laughs> well, you've got to make our red, red white, and, and blue trifles. Layers and layers of patriotic yumminess. Oh, with fluffy chunks of angel food cake. Oh, and sweet, delicious strawberries. Ooh, and luscious, beautiful blueberries. Oh, oh, and a cream sauce to die for. And it all adds up to a dessert Uncle Sam would be proud of. <laughs> so welcome back to the 4th of July edition of How to Feed a Loon. Yay. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. Bob. Firecracker Loon. <laughs> yes, just call me Miss Firecracker. <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> so welcome everybody. We're so excited. Yay. Just in case you couldn't tell, we're yeah. a little excited because it's, it's Independence Day it's for Independence America. Day, and even if you don't, you know, celebrate it, it's a reason to make this. Yeah. because this is a celebration. <laughs> trust me, trust me, trust me. So let's get going. This is a beautiful dessert. It's gorgeous <sighs> and delicious. It's, it's so much fun to make too. It is, and you can do so much of it in advance. So I'm just we're. Just just going to uh, jump right in. Yes. It's, it's layers. It's all about layers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now this is what we're going to start off with is some angel food so cake. I love there. angel food cake. My mom used to make it. I, and so, mm. But we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to go to our local supermarket because they have really good ones in the bakery section. Totally. And we're going to buy one. Totally. And it's 12 to 13 ounce usually. If you can't find angel food cake, a pound cake will work. Uh, but angel food cake is really light and fluffy. Yeah. So I'm just going to put some right here in the bottom. We're going to do Start with that first. First layer Let's of do, we're, we're layering. We're working in layers. I am layered, people. So uh, this is about. You're going to want to use about half of that. Okay. I love so that. now look at this. As Wesley said, luscious blueberry. <laughs> Beautiful blueberry. You're so luscious. So th <laughs> these really are gorgeous. So what we've done here. Let me tell you how we prepare these. Now these you're going to want to do in advance. Um, but we got a medium saucepan, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we added, um, <laughs> move out of the way, yeah, Angel. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so we, then we, to that we added uh, 16 ounces, which is one pound of fresh blueberries. blueberries. And then to that we added a half a cup of sugar and then two tablespoons of lemon juice, a third a cup of water, and a healthy pinch of salt. And then you're gonna bring that to a boil, and then you're just gonna let that cook for, it's gonna go in a total of about 15 to 20 yeah. minutes. And what happens is those blueberries just, they're, they're like just fireworks, <laughs> they're like boom. They're like firecrackers. Firecrackers, <laughs> they're like Wesley. Anyway, they, they just release their juices, and then they start to thicken. But don't now, you thicken it? Get, we do, we want it to get even a little thicker to be like this. So yeah. I help things along, and I do our little cornstarch slurry trick. Right. And all that is, you just get some cornstarch, like a tablespoon, do a tablespoon of water to and mix that up. And then when you're, you know, about three-fourths of the way into it, just pour that in and within minutes you'll see it start to thicken. Now it's going to still feel kind of runny and then you're going to transfer it to a uh, heat proof bowl like this. And then as it sits and it cools, you need to let it cool, um, it will continue to thicken. Yes. Even more. Okay. Now start layering that. I am going to start now, layering. as he's layering that, those blueberries, I've got a bunch of cream over here. I'm like the creamery over here. I tell you. <laughs> so I've got two things of cream. The first, That's a metaphor for something and I don't even know. But <laughs> The first uh, uh, cream that I have here, uh, I what do we have in here is we have some, uh, oh Chris, what is it, an eight ounce package of Cream, cream cheese. cheese softened. And then to that I we added a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of heavy cream and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we Did you used our stand was, mixer. Your stand, this was in the bowl of your stand our mixer. Our stand mixer. <laughs> and then we just lowered our stand mixer and we put that on medium and let that just get so nice and delicious and creamy and I just want to stick my whole face yeah, in there yeah. and eat it. If you don't have a stand mixer, you yeah. can use a hand mixer, whatever, or even like a wooden spoon and some mm, elbow grease. <laughs> right, and then the second uh, cream vessel I have here is two cups of, what we did is we took two cups of cream and our hand mixer. Heavy cream. Uh, heavy cream and our hand mixer and we just turned that hand mixer on high <laughs> and whipped these up until they were stiff peaks. We whipped them into and a frenzy. So I'll what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a third of these to this mix, to the first cream mix. Oh, so much cream. I know, but, I know. So we're going to add this first batch here, or a third of it, and just get it nice 
and fluffy. So and what that does is it just you know we we love to incorporate these types of See, there light, light and fluffy cream into the other cream because it just lightens things up and oh, makes it really really oh, delicious. Yes, and that I just is, put the rest of it in there and I'm gonna fold that in. And how are you doing on your blueberries? I think oh, you I'm, missed a spot right well, there. Well, I don't want to over. I you know, so I should say I don't know if don't I did over say, blueberry. The, and you know what <laughs> we always re reference from Willy Wonka, <laughs> Veronica. No, oh. no. Oh, pe people and told us that I forgot already. I know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. Lila, anyway, Lily, no. No, so oh. you will, you'll tell us. So anyway, <laughs> yes. so no, you're gonna wanna use half of everything. So we used half of the um, angel food cake, we used half of the blueberries, because we're layering, and now we're going mm, to layer on Look at that, that y'all. Okay, yeah. so while you're layering that on, yep. I'm going to just go ahead and dump it in there. I'm gonna talk about these beautiful babies. Now, strawberries are wonderful. So we're gonna use two 16 ounce packages, 16 ounce Lower packages a little bit of strawberries. Now you'll see this one is awfully juicy, and I'm not talking about the loon. Um, <laughs> and this one is not as juicy. What is this like a puppet show? It's, it's Twister. <laughs> it's, it's the Fourth of July Twister. Trifle Twister. <laughs> trifle Twister. <laughs> it's just a trifle Twister. <laughs> In, anyway, so this what we've done to get this one nice and juicy is that I what I did was I took 16 ounces. I took the stems off and then I sliced them, and then I put them in a bowl and I added a half a cup of sugar and what that does it's called macerating and macerating is just the process of softening and it just brings out those brings out the juices and it really softens them to make them sweet and sweet and juicy so we are going to now yes now that the let's, has got add, that there, let's add the red I'm gonna use a slotted spoon just to add these in you could mm. you, you could put have the juices as you can see there's quite a bit of juices in there um, so but we don't want those juices to drain down too much that is just already yeah, be careful. heavenly. You're, you're slopping all over the well, place. Well, I'm just trying to move things <laughs> along. Okay. Because this is the one, now scoot those over to the edge so people can see them. Okay, this is gorgeous, I'm so excited. Okay, and then we're moving kind of quickly for yeah. the sake of time, so you know, you'll know you'll know. You want, you want there to be visible the, all of the colors of the American flag. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do another, another layer. Yes. Stars and straps forever. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay, so now what well, you can decorate the top any way you want. So these are these, these are just fresh strawberries. Oh, you're just gonna go all you for can it. do them very concentrically. Well, I, I want to keep a little strip of the white showing. We're gonna keep a strip of the white well, showing. You're just shoving it all up on there. Well, in the interest of time, we're doing this kind of haphazardly. You do them Oops. however you would like. Um, but we find just a really pretty um, row of them on the outside. There we go. Um, and that's we've got a lot left over. Over, so um, anyway, right, yeah. that's okay. You can that's really. Right, I'm gonna put the those on my my ice cream. Layer. Yes, yes, yes. We do that. <laughs> okay, and I didn't mention earlier. So we used a 16 mm -hmm. ounces of blueberry blueberries. I also like to save. I, I get myself another like six or eight ounces, the, the little container of fresh blueberries. So you can put them as decoration on Yay! top, and you're not gonna you know cook them down. Look at that. And then you just add that on. And I'm telling you, this you bring this out at the end of your barbecue or you know during your barbecue or whatever and people are going to be start singing the star spangled banner <laughs> it's just that impressive oh y'all look at that that is Independence Day in I know, a I trifle. Feel like a, <laughs> I feel like a ball. I don't want to eat it. I know. Who am I kidding? Oh, are you kidding? I know. Let's, let's be real. Okay. So I'm, I say just go all, plunge it down to the bottom and see if I Is that what you say? Yeah. Well, I say so too. <laughs> and then and then the joy, look at that, the joy Yay. that people have of digging this out. It's, just, it's not only delicious, it's just so much fun. Oh, that looks wonderful. It really does make you just, oh. Oh, I'll tell you. Okay. All oh. right. I'm so happy. Oh, look at, so there's the strawberries, there's the blue, it's there's the beautiful. white. I'm going to dig right in, y'all. Now, it's the true test is going to be the taste test. Dun, dun, da, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like stunned it. Woo, Fire that is work. delicious. Oh. It's light, refreshing. Oh, and it's just it got that lovely sweetness, but it also has got that fresh taste to it. Oh, and every once in a while you get into that little angel food cake. 
This is a thousand percent litter proof. Oh my Sorry. goodness. I, I just want to get right I back. Know, I know. It, it is remarkable oh. how I'm going to like eat it first. <laughs> I love it. I just love a trifle. Now, weren't we supposed to refrigerate this for a little oh, while? You, yeah. You, well, it's delicious. <laughs> Trust me. We're telling you right now, it is delicious. Um. But you can absolutely cover this in plastic, stick it in the fridge. It is even better after it chills a little bit, but it's so good right mm, now. I'm almost done with mine. I know. It is so good at the, you, as a perfect dessert mm. when people have been eating burgers and sausages and things like that. It's just so, so light and good. fresh and delicious. Mm. I just can't rave enough mm. about it. Oh, my gosh. It you know is. what? And you know, if you're also looking for other desserts to serve with this, one of our favorite desserts, and it always gets huge reviews, or huge, just people love it, is our blueberry buttermilk pie. Oh, uh, yeah. Or you can go trifle again and do our, our banana pudding trifle. You know? Which is amazing. It is. I, it's a trifle delicious. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Happy Fourth of July. Yay! <laughs>